Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be touching on my kitchen. Um, firstly, I'll be touching up the cupboards. As you can see, they're all broken and damaged and so on. And then in another video, I'll be touching up my um, flooring and tiles. So if you want to see the other video as well, um, stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for the other part of the video. Anyways, let's get started. Firstly, you have to take up all the, take off all the knobs. Um, as you can see, I've just done one of them. After doing that, get some sandpaper and simply just sand down the edges. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back to you. Hey guys, um, so after um, I took off all the knobs and the sides and took off the cupboard, because if you're going to be painting, you have to paint it um, lying flat, because if you paint it lying up, then um, the paint will just come rolling down and it'll gather up and make blobs. So um, take off the cupboard and then take off all the knobs and everything and paint it and the paint that i've used is this wilkinson one um cupboard paint it dries within two hours you can put another layer on but um i didn't really need to and i suggest you use this paint brush um rather a rolling one before painting it make sure you do sand it down and the reason you're sanding it down is taking off all the grease and taking off all the excess around it um, after sanding it down, um, you can use white spirit to clean up all the grease and dirt around it if the sanding paper does not come off with it and just simply use some tissue. So after sanding it down and using some white spirit, don't forget, like, it has to be dry and then you can start painting it using this Wilkinson furniture one. This is the one that I've used and the colour I've used is mineral stone so after doing that um doing all of your cupboards it should look something like this and if you do want to put the knobs back on on both sides then you can but i've just decided to not do that and i'm going to fill up the knobs fill up the holes sorry i'm going to fill up the holes and i'm going to put just one knob back on so i'll so this is what's going to look like if you are going to put the original knobs back on. These are um, two hold ones, and if you don't, if you don't want to do that, then it is this one. And I've just bought this diamond one from B and M, as you can see. And this is the hole. I just need to fill it in, and I've put um, the cupboards back on after painting it. And this is what it should look like after one layer. But if you are going to do another layer, then you can. Um, so this is just what it's going to look like with both the knobs and this is what it's going to look like without um, both of the knobs. So this is what you should have after sanding it, taking all the grease off and painting it. And I'm just going to show you if you are not going to put both of the knobs back on how to fill this hole. Basically I've just used this um, No More Nails. You're not supposed to use that, but I've just used that because I didn't have anything else. Um, basically, you put that through the hole with your finger or um, with something, a spatula or something. After doing that, obviously, it's going to be white. So this is what I've done. I've painted it over. And when you do paint it over, this is what you should look like. Um it's going to leave a bit of blob and some mark. So afterwards, just get a bit of sandpaper and just simply sand it down and then paint it over again when you've finished. And then you should have a clear spot. And then you get your drillers and make a hole through the middle. Make sure you do get the accurate middle. Don't do it um, slightly downwards or upwards. Okay, guys. So after doing um, the cupboards and so on, we're going to move to the kitchen um, board. Basically, we're going to take all of these off. As you can see, they're all old and mouldy and 
there's cracks and stuff as well and as you can see the um table and the colors and stuff have faded so what have i've what i've just done is get these stickers from wilkinson and they're really nice they're like a stone texture um as you can see and also um use a cutter to cut around the edges to sharpen it um so let's get started with this one um the ones at wilkinson are really easy to roll on as well they don't leave any bumps or lumps or bubbles let me just finish this off and do these and i'll put image down and tell you what was the things that i used hey guys so this is what the kitchen looks like after doing all of the finishing the finishing touches to it doing these edges um doing the tabletops putting some things around and as you can see i've put all the diamond knobs on and i've painted it sandpapered it um literally nearly everything is finished and i've put up some decorations of butterflies and so on um so the only thing that is left is the flooring as you can see it's green and it doesn't go with the theme so i've bought these um white tile paints and i'm thinking of doing it so um after that i'm gonna show you the finishing touch hey guys so this is the finishing result of the kitchen after touching it up and fixing everything there was two drawers there but i um filled the holes of the drawers and i made it into just one drawer um i fixed up the table tops and also fixed up these and painted and put diamond knobs on there and also put some more decorations anyway so if you have any questions or any inquiries please um comment down below or email me um thanks for watching hope you subscribe and like and comment this video and tell me how it was the before and after thank you um,